On location now for this week's Smith Business Close-Up at the University of Maryland's Robert H. Smith School of Business. And we're joined by Kislaya Prasad, who is director of the Center for International Business Education and Research. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Let's, let's start with what the center does and talk a little about the importance of, of international business. Well, so the center, it's funded by the U.S. government, and it is supposed to facilitate the internationalization of U.S. business to foster international understanding among our students. So uh, we have a range of programs. Uh, let me begin by the ones that are directed towards our students. We try many different ways to get our students overseas, and more importantly, this being uh, a business school, get them in living, working environments overseas. So we have uh, study abroad courses that we support, but uh, for deeper levels of engagement than that, we have uh, consulting assignments, internships, uh, and a range of uh, other activities. What's the importance of those experience be experiences? Because if a student is fortunate enough to spend a semester, say, in Europe, uh, he or she may not know anything about Asia and, and vice versa. You're right. So, uh, so we try and choose our destinations with a view to what's going to be important in the future. So uh, much of what we're supporting just now is uh, emerging markets uh, because I th we find students have more often been to uh, you know, London, Paris, Barcelona. Um, but but uh, they might not have been to uh, China or to Brazil or Uruguay or India. And, uh, and that's uh, part of our focus. But I do think that there is a core skill that comes from just being outside of your comfort zone at home in any country that prepares you for other countries. So I, th so I think it really doesn't matter so much that you're in one country, but if you're out of your comfort zone, I think that's good. It forces you to adapt and uh, become a better individual for it, uh, quite aside for, from being better at business. And, and be more open to, to different cultures, so, I suppose. Absolutely, to, uh, to be open to new cultures, uh, new work practices, and uh, just it forces people to see ourselves as outsiders as well. In the old days, there used to be this grand tour that was a rite of passage in education for the very wealthy. Today, thankfully, because of you know, support from the Smith School, the University of Maryland, and my center, I think uh, we try and get a very broad spectrum of students overseas, and I think they're all the richer for it. What, um, what's the importance of language uh, ability at, at this point? Uh, the old American attitude, of course, is everybody else is going to speak English. Uh, if, if you, uh, to what degree do students have the skills that you would like them to have in other languages that are important for global commerce? So to some extent, this is true, that lots of people all around the world speak English. Uh, and uh, I think language skills are needed at two levels. I think you know, there's a level at which just making an effort or, or an attempt breaks the ice culturally, even though you don't get genuine functional skills in a language. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, there are some situations in which you need deeper language skills, and having an interpreter is just not right. The same thing. We had a student consulting team last uh, summer in, uh, uh, in Thailand, in uh, Sichang Island port. And, uh, Things were well enough when they spoke to the head office. Uh, one or two people spoke reasonably good English. They got to the port. There was not a soul there who spoke a word of English. So uh, in that, they just relied completely on some Thai students who were with them. And, uh, and that was probably not ideal. And the expectation is that the students who come through your program will do better in the workforce. And uh, I don't know how long you've been at it, but you have the, the anecdotal evidence coming back to you from, from people who've graduated in years past. Uh, absolutely, I think that's true, but sometimes, uh, most recently, we saw a disaster unfold in front of ourselves of uh, students going into another country and trying to integrate with some students there uh, uh, into a team and be effective. And uh, in this case, unfortunately, there was uh, an us versus them kind of thing worked out. And so this was, it's good that if something like this happens, it happens in school as opposed to in their genuine job. So I think, uh, so quite a, we get affirmation from people who've uh, graduated and who find this very valuable. We get affirmation from people who say they've had three, four job offers and they think it is because of the consulting assignments they did with our center. 
But uh, I think we see both through the successes and the failures, we see uh, the, the importance of this. And I, for me, I've developed uh, uh, a huge appreciation for uh, interpersonal communication skills and intercultural skills. Uh, and just sort of just, you know, this little past month itself. It's more and more important. Professor, Absolutely. thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me.